Hi everybody, it's Juliana and today I'm here to share with you guys a project and a few little clips of a tutorial um, where I created this needle book that you see right here. So um, I used the needle book kit by um, Flair by Me. She had sent me the beautiful kit and I put this together. So if you guys missed that video of the kit, I will link it on the description below and you guys can check it out. Um, because I used most of the kit and you'll see it on this book. So I had so much fun putting together this needle book. Um, I have made one in the past but it just looked like a regular book. And this one I just decided to do it a little bit different and in a vintage shabby chic style. So uh, the great thing about this is that I didn't get to sew anything and all I used was glue and laces and the embellishments that come in the kit. So let me go ahead and share it with you guys. But um, you'll see on the clip that it's very, very simple to make this. And um, it's just all more about decorating it and then putting it together. But yeah, it is very simple. So I wanted to create a shape of a home. Um, so if you guys can see, this is the roof here on the top and this is the bottom so I wanted to do that shape because I don't know it just feels like sewing and laces and trims to me are kind of very homey and so um, yeah that's what I was going for so um, everything that I use here it comes in the kit which is really nice um, but these are some of the beautiful trims that comes in the kit as well so for the bottom here I use this beautiful um, like darker pink type of color uh, lace and I wanted to put it on the bottom because it looks like a like a picket white fence and um, so it looks like a fence I put it on the bottom and then I use this beautiful flower that comes in the kit with this vintage trims and laces um, on the top here I used the sequence embellishment that she put in her kit it is absolutely stunning and I just kind of put it on the side there to kind of create more of a roof um, this is a pink ivory no, excuse me a pink Venice lace here as well that I use on the top and the back I'll show you very quick you can see a little bit of the felt there, but I used some of the laces and fabrics that she had included in her um, kit. So there's that. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. So um, let me just go ahead and lift it up for you guys so you can see it easier. But um, this is the first page. And um, for the first page, I use a lot of the vintage shrimps from the kit and this beautiful scallop one here on the bottom. Um, the main thing I wanted to do was to add this piece of lace here in the center so this can kind of hold the buttons. So there is two buttons here that come in the kit. This beautiful little embellishment of the measuring tape. So I added that there on the flower. And then these two beautiful buttons right here. Okay so um, yeah okay so and then this one right here is for the scissors so um, this beautiful image here comes in the kit as well and I just love it it's probably my favorite image out of uh, the four that come in the kit and um, so I added her right there on the middle I added more laces and trims and then um, I got a piece of doily and I cut it in half so that way I created little pockets to add um, a few of my um, little scissors this is a unicorn scissors um, that I love so much and a friend of mine got this for me and I absolutely love it so that one goes there and then I added this little um, wood embellishments to come in the kit as well along with some of the beautiful like blush pink uh, Venice trim in here and then this is my other pair of scissors that I had forever um, so this one I use a lot especially when I'm making um, little hair pieces for my Etsy so um, but yeah so this is it and oh I forgot to show you this is a little charm that comes in the kit as well it's a singer machine 
super super adorable so yep so he opens up like this again and then um, it closes like this and there it is so I'm very very happy about how this turned out it was so much fun putting it together and I am also making something that will go with this um, as part of the kit as well so I cannot wait to share that with you guys but I hope that you find some inspiration um, with this needle book and um, I hope that you enjoyed the clips that I will show you guys now of how I put this together if you have any questions please let me know and thank you so much you guys for watching I will talk to you guys very very soon take care bye bye